Y'all see, I still got a lot of work to do. Still got to get these snacks somewhere. My lady still got food up down here. But for the most part, I think I got a little bit of clothes up in here. Uh, she might have some clothes up in here. You got some stuff up there. A lot of the big stuff is already gone. I just got to get my CB. Uh, get this dresser out. And then I'm going to be good. Yo, what up, y'all? So today is um, September 3rd, 2019. As y'all know, I'm supposed to be turning in my truck. I'm, I'm supposed to have been turning it in on uh, September 7th. But today is Tuesday. I've been ready to roll since yesterday, Monday. But yesterday was Labor Day, so they didn't send me nothing at all. I was really uh, banking on Monday or two, uh, Monday to get up out of here to at least be able to get myself up out of the hole that I'm in. I'm in the hole about 685 right now. So I was banking on Monday to get me up out of there, even if the load didn't deliver until Tuesday or something like that. But Or at least before payroll cutoff, but that didn't happen. Uh, I hit them up for a load today, but they just took way too long and they still didn't send me anything. So I just sat there for a little bit, probably like an hour and debated with myself on whether it'd be smart for me to turn the truck in today, take the 685 on the chin, or not turn the truck in today, which will put my fixed cost, along with the amount that I'm in the hole, up to $2,000, not including fuel. And that will give me from today, which is Tuesday, until Saturday the 7th to be able to pay that off. And I don't think that's possible, so I decided that I'm just going to take the, the 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 six on the chin. Granted, it might not be six; it might be a little bit lower because Prime does have a fuel discount, and I did purchase fuel, obviously. So with my fuel discount, I probably owe probably like a little bit more closer to like five, but that's better than two thousand, or that's better than putting myself deeper into a hole with fuel and stuff like that. So uh yeah i'm just gonna take this one on the chin y'all and head up that way uh i messaged them and told them just forget about the load out there head to the terminal i have about uh 35 gallons or 40 gallons my gps just fell so i'm gonna stop at a fuel stop give me about uh 15 or 20 gallons uh because i'm only bobtailing so i shouldn't kill too much fuel and uh, hopefully my card isn't locked and hopefully my card goes through. But if it doesn't go through, then I'll just mess around and pay for the fuel out of my pocket. But I don't think they do that. I just used my previous trip, uh, put Bobtail in for my trailer. And then that'll probably be the reason why I still owe around 600, 650 that I'm a little bit of fuel I got to get. So I'll let y'all know how this goes. My bus leaves at 430 tonight. So I have to hurry up and get there. I got uh, 215 miles to do. So. I'll see y'all when I get to the terminal. So this is the current date. The Qualcomm works. I'm gonna go back there. You have three hours Everything and 28 works. minutes of remaining drive time. Everything works. I'm gonna go ahead and sign myself out. And if you just wanted to show y'all that it works, the cord is nothing, no damage to the cord. Uh, to the front of the truck. No damage to the inside of there. Some paper towels, no damage up there. No type of damage here. It's clean in there. Nothing in there except for whatever came with the truck. But like I said, there's no damage to the seat. This is the driver's seat. This is the passenger seat. That's a bag of trash there. Passenger seat. No damage in here. This is the back side. Inside cabinet. Driver's side cabinet. Here's the APU panel, control panel. I can't turn on the lights. These are still intact. That still works. This is the bottom bunk. This is the top bunk. Both curtains still here. No damage to those. This is a 
the ladder hooks and unhooks properly. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit. One second. This is under the bunk. No damage up under there. And I have three sets of keys for 601468 three sets of keys and I'll show y'all where I'm at and this is the time well that's central standard time and I'll show y'all outside of I wanted to show y'all that the pre pass and the easy pass is still there park behind this truck right near the trailer shop Uh, what the what dispatch? Yeah. No, I didn't go over there yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll go over. Um, you might want to do that. Sign off on it. Okay. And then when I put this in, your name will be. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. So do I have to come back here or no? I'm good to go. All right. You have a good day. Yeah. 